Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm, of course, your host, Edrodles Blitz, and in today's video, we are going to be asking a fairly simple question that I still don't know the answer to, and the question is, where's the 50TP prototype camo? Loading up World of Tanks Blitz in front of you on the loading screen is a picture of the 50TP prototype with the camouflage, the Valkyrie camo, whatever it's going to be called. We've been waiting for this camo ever since the update dropped. It's the poster child in the update, and maybe some people were hoping that the 50TP prototype was going to be sold if they missed their chance to get it for free. It's a fantastic tank. It's probably the best tier 9 in the game right now. But weirdly enough, you can't get your hands on the camouflage yet. Now, it's possible that this Friday you are going to be able to get your hands on the camouflage, and I am going to resize my games. Everybody can watch it at the correct aspect ratio. There you go. But yeah, I, I really don't... Don't know where the camouflage is. You would think that for the poster child of this update, Wargaming would release the camo first with the tank and maybe have some sort of event where you could earn it again or something like that, but no, we, we actually don't have it. So today is currently the 14th of Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Usually on Fridays, Wargaming either releases a new tank or they release a better tank compared to the rest. So right now we have vehicles like the WZ-122TM in the store and you know, some returning tanks here and there that not too many people care all too much about. But usually on Fridays, like last Friday, we had the Object 752 come into the game. And the previous Friday, we had the uh, Mega Containers, which possibly contain the Kampf Panzer 50 ton. And as you can see, the Mega Containers are leaving in 16 hours. So, it is very likely that the 50 TP prototype could be coming out in 15 hours or so. So I figured, why not play in this tank for two battles, see how it performs forms, but I can't guarantee it. I'm going to tell you now, this is not a guarantee. In fact, I don't know if it's coming out. And if I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, I don't think this tank is going to show tomorrow. Wargaming has not said a single bit of news about the camouflage since the update has dropped. It's almost like they have completely forgotten about it, and it's just sitting up on their wall with a little thumbtack in there, and they keep forgetting to actually implement it in the game. So, I really don't know what to say. Usually, when new camouflages plop in the game, you play a battle in the tank, boom, you get the camouflage offer, and then you just purchase it. But when it comes to this camo, maybe Wargaming is planning on making an event for the tank again? I don't know. I cannot tell you what goes through their minds, but there's other tanks in the game that could be released as well. Just for example, the Keeler is a German tier A premium heavy tank, and that heavy tank was in testing the exact same weeks as the Skoda T56. The Skoda was released a month ago, so it wouldn't surprise me if a vehicle like the Keeler came out this Friday. Um, obviously, we'll know in one day, but I'm just hoping that the camo comes out. The re main reason why I wanted to make this video is, first of all, if it does come out tomorrow, then at least I made a video and you know how the tank plays. And if it doesn't come out tomorrow, then at least I can say I told you so, and that Wargaming is just forgetting about the camouflage. Now, what I will say right now is their servers are absolute doo-doo, as I'm at 14, 15% packet loss. Holy, almost 20. That is absolutely awful. You can see my ping is fine. It's only 40, so uh, my Wi-Fi is completely fine here. It's chugging along, but yeah, my packet loss, oh, bad packet loss can really cause you to miss shells because it's not like you're lagging and you just have delayed shots. It's more like, oh, my tank's gonna do a hop, a skip all the way over to grandma's house randomly. So let's see, we got the Tiger II off to the side and maybe I can get a shell into his tank. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you can see the packet loss there just absolutely messing up. It's so weird how it works. Either way, we are going to push aggressively across. One thing about the 50 TP prototype is it is incredibly fast. Oh boy, how fun is that? Well, let's get a shell. Never mind. And they're, oh my god, they're Chimera. Well, uh, this is an interesting battle, to say none the least. They got a 95 camping up on the ridge, which is weird, because the 95 is more of a heavy tank, but that's fine with me, because my heavies over here should hopefully be able to clear what is off to the side, which will give us a pretty easy dub if they do that. And we saw there was a Tiger II over here. I don't see that. Oh, that's a, a Yo. Um, if this Yo rushes me, it's, it's not going to go well for him, so... Yeah, we'll find out what happens here, right? Come on, yo, play with me. Driving up the hill, and there you go. Nice tap into the yo. Sorry about the weird packet loss, by the way, guys. I mean, I'm experiencing the exact same thing you are seeing on this screen. 
So, five more seconds left and we should be able to get a shell into this tiger. I'm even gonna put on my Bungston shells. There you go, nice tap for 499. Tungsten shells is an extremely strong consumable. The ability to roll people much higher than your average damage is pretty nasty, if I'm gonna be real. We got the rear of this yo, and there you go, 661 damage with that shot. I mean, just think about how high that roll was on the enemy team. Now we're gonna reload here, and we should be able to get another shell into this tiger. We can penetrate right into his frontal armor. There you go, nice tap for 407. It's got very nice penetration on the 50 TP prototype, and uh, the armor, it's not definitely the strongest for a tier nine heavy. You know, there's vehicles like the ST1 that I think have better armor haul down, and actually we just got rolled 652 by the 95 through a little crack in the wall, and that actually ended up killing us, and we might not win this battle, which is kind of sad, but we are up on base capture, so we're gonna find out. My stock leopard, or Indian Panzer, though, is uh, definitely not giving me high hopes. And uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 1,000 on the base capture and coming out with a dub. I really did not think this was going to be a win, uh, especially after I got rolled by the side of that 95. That was quite unfortunate for me. I was hoping that he wasn't going to be able to get that shot off, but we still did pretty okay in this battle, able to deal 2,500 in a very short amount of time, and as well finished top on the team. You can see where the 50 TP prototype is quite nice. Now what you did notice is that when you expose the armor even to that tier 8 like the Tiger 2, you're quite easily penetrated. If I was in an E75 poking that exact same spot, I can quite easily say that the Tiger would have struggled to penetrate my frontal armor. If I was in an ST1, the armor would have been most likely a bit more effective. But when it comes to the 50 TP prototype, its lower plate's only about 130 millimeters thick, and that's effective armor. So if you expose that lower plate, you will be penetrated even by tier 8 mediums and other lower penetration vehicles. It's really just the turret that makes the 50 TP prototype how strong it really is. So here we are on our second battle. We've got two E100s up against us, a Sheridan, an E5, a 57 Heavy. I mean, that's a really strong tier 10 lineup. The E5 isn't going to be super bad, but, uh, or, yeah, super bad. I don't know why I said super bad, but, um, it'll still be a threat down to the fact that the E5 does have very similar damage per minute to my tank, so that's one thing I have to be very, very careful of. Now, my team understands very little about this map. I made a video yesterday talking about how teams still understand nothing about this game, and, uh, that seems to be the case here. Our TVP's pushing up, trying to get some spots out, and he has spotted, but unfortunately, the rest of our team thinks that pushing towards base A is more important. So, I'm gonna push over here and let's see what we can do. I don't even know what our Fosh is doing. He's just driving into a wall. That's fantastic. Well, the E100 is getting absolutely shredded to pieces. And that's the Sheridan right there. I can almost guarantee that. Um, there's no other tank that I can imagine would go up to that bush. So I'm just gonna sit here. Yep, there is the Sheridan. Let's get a nice shot into him. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 534 damage. But here comes the cavalry, boys. Let's reload. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and... Oh, where's the Sheridan? Ah, that's that's unfortunate. All right, well, let's see if we can get a shell into the 50 TP prototype, or not the prototype, but just the 50 TP. And now we're gonna start reloading again. Now that uh, TVP got tapped quite hard there, and we're reloading. You can see that packet loss still kind of messing with me, but hopefully we can get a shell maybe into that Sheridan and fire. Yeah, there you go. Nice tap for 453. I mean, we're getting some big taps out. My team is struggling to deal with, uh, actually, they're not struggling. They are clearing them. All we have to do over here is, uh, hold off the enemy long enough. So that's, that's the plan. Let's finish off that Sheridan. That is why tungsten shells exist right there, because I was able to roll what was a 440 hit point Sheridan for a lot more. It's great. And now we got, like, the E5 over here, and we're gonna tap him right in that trap wheel for 531 hit points. Now, I am going to start backing up. It looks like that T-57 Heavy is going to tunnel me, which is quite unfortunate for me, but oh well. Let's start backing up. I think we can actually get into cover uh, before he's able to kill me, so there you go. Keep on shooting at me, dude. You are going to regret it. Yep, there you go. All right, let's see if we can get one bounce from this E-5. That looks like a big fat no, but even with this battle going really weird, we still could win this. That LVG player, instead of clearing the yo, decided to go for a tier 9 that only gets gets 400 damage out. I didn't even shoot him. So basically that 57 heavy, the strongest player on their team, bled 900 health 
for basically nothing. I, I don't know what to say about that. Our mouse is aiming it on the E5, gets a nice max roll there, and we're up to 685 on the base capture. We have a lot of hit points over them. This is another weird battle. That's really all there is to say about it. This 57 Evie has put himself in a terrible situation. Um, but we're up to almost 800 on the base capture now. If this 57 pushes up, he's going to be shot for a lot of hit points, which is good news for us. So we're just waiting. We're up to 745. I don't know if we're going to win this one, if I'm going to be completely honest, though. This E100's pulling around the corner. Pen the shell. It's not hard. Wow. Penning a 57 Heavy is possibly one of the easiest things to do in the game, and it impresses me how people really don't manage to do it. Either way, our, uh, our E100 has managed to bleed. Uh, a lot of health is a good way to word it. A lot. A lot of health. Uh, we still do have a full health Fosh, which is nice, so hopefully that Fosh is going to be able to get some shells out. But uh, at this instant, and the mouse bouncing, I, I don't think this is going to be a win. Ooh, 920 on the base capture. Come on. We could win this. It is still possible. This mouse needs to penetrate the shell. And come on, mouse. Nice. 960. And then this Fosh just needs to live. That's all he needs to do. 980. We're actually going to win this battle. No way. That is insane. I cannot believe we actually won this game. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another win. The only reason we were able to win this was because me and the M6 show were able to hold that ridge for as long as we did. As I said, I do not know why that 57 Heavy thought it would be smarter to tunnel me instead of the uh, the Yo on my team because the Yo was able to take 900 hit points off of him. Imagine in return that LVG player is able to push into our team, not care about his hit points and get into the base capture, but because he blew half his health, he couldn't really do that. That's a lesson for all of you out there. Just because somebody might be good at the game, do not tunnel them because you might throw your battle just like that moment there. So that was a pretty crazy game. I'm actually incredibly surprised we won that and uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed today's video other than that i'll be seeing you in the next one Bye bye